Good afternoon, everyone. Happy Monday to us all. I know it's not the uh, favourite day of the week for everybody, but think of it like this. Once this day is done, we're getting closer to the weekend. Um, like I said, I'm Luke's Ref M, and I am currently managing Rafe Rovers. Um, and the last time you checked in with us, we were we are currently fifth in the league. We're doing very well. Um, 24 games gone, 10 games won, drawn eight, and lost six games we've lost six are mm -mm, I would have I was gonna say mostly teams better than us but I think we could have beaten some of them um so yeah so let's have a look at these Ross Stewart is our top goal scorer at the moment 12 goals in 20 games and uh, doing very well our overall best player is Josh Bowler um, nine assists seven goals in 14 games he hasn't played every game but when he has played he's been top performer and uh, he's got the most assists as well so yeah, so I normally would skip forward to the next game, but because we're in January transfer window, um, I don't know if we've got have we got anybody lined up to come in. We haven't got anyone lined to come in, but we might be getting rid of a few players. Um, I think the finances aren't the best. I know actually we're doing all right for money and that. So you never know, the DOF might end up signing a player. So um, we'll just see how it goes. Uh, but yeah, I hope you all had a nice weekend. I had an enjoyable weekend with my my girlfriend. We uh, we saw my mum for Mother's Day on Saturday. Uh, and then we uh, chilled out yesterday, so it was nice. Oh, I'll be good when he goes Welsh. I quite liked him, Stephen Welsh. Uh, do I keep him, maybe? Uh, to be honest, I'll make decent money on him. Only cost, it only cost me 63k. The problem I find with the Scottish leagues is it's very hard to make money on players. Even like the best players that you've got, you don't end up getting that much for them as much as you would like if you were in the, say, for instance, in the bigger league like the Premiership or English Premiership. Sorry, um, I've just started a. I mean, season two on a offline save with Kilmarnock, uh, which is very enjoyable. I've got a different editor file with that one. I've got. Uh, an editor file where it only gives you prize money for doing well in the league. You don't get prize money for doing well in any of the domestic cups. But um, it is good though because I got fifth position both seasons. Sorry, I completed season two recently as well. I forgot about that. So yeah, so I got fifth place both seasons, uh, and I get like twenty million. So it helps with improving facilities and also getting better players improving budgets and stuff like that so yeah and I managed to sign um, Hoyland again I managed to sign for Kilmarnock and I managed to sign Delhi Alley as well so bringing the boys back together um, Collins Faye's there as well but I recently sold him because he wanted to leave because he weren't getting first team football but I even brought Collins Faye back so uh, yeah the boys are, I'm re reuniting the boys at Kilmarnock uh, it's in. It's a very enjoyable. I I, quite, I really enjoy managing the Scottish leagues. It, it's. I think it's more enjoyable for me than other people would enjoy it. But um, yeah, finding it very enjoyable. Dundee United next. Neck and neck with us. So we just, we we could do with winning. Scott Twine. Good player. I don't know if we need him. The annoying thing about my Kilmarnock save is um, I haven't got all these different editor files, so it's not bringing up as many South American hidden gems as I would like, but it's still a decent amount. I've still got the same players, but for just some reason I'm not getting them Come up as scout reports, even though my scouting budget's ridiculously high. So uh, yeah, but like I said, enjoying it for what it is. Daddy Ali's playing better for Kilmark than he has been for Rafe Rovers, but I still love Daddy Ali. Right, Rios, you're doing well, so we'll just give you a little bit of praise. Um, thank you as always for everyone that's been watching the videos and that. Um, much appreciated, as always. If you like some, if you want to watch something different, I do Twitch TW Twenty Twenty Wrestling Simulation. 
Um, me and my two friends, Josh and Dave, we have decided to do a brand split with WWE. Um, and I've added another brand called Dynasty. So I'm in charge of Raw, Josh is in charge of SmackDown, and Dave's in charge of Dynasty. And we took it in turns to draft wrestlers. And um, we're, tr- we're going to try and compete with each other to see who can produce the best shows. So I st- we did the draft on Thursday and we start um, the first couple of shows together that we're doing. on. Um, technically, it'll be today. But yeah, so it'll be today. Um, but I will... I will put the the stream replay on my YouTube channel. So don't worry if you watch this video later. Um, But if you do watch this video early enough and you want to come in and watch me play TW 2020, I will be streaming 2 p.m. UK time. Um, I Twitch on Monday, Tuesdays and Thursdays at 2 p.m. UK time. So yeah, come along if you want to join in, if you want to ask me anything and that stuff like that. So yeah. Sorry if my voice sounds a bit croaky. Um, I'm recording this video even though I'm saying it's the afternoon. As always, I record these videos quite early in the morning. So my voice is never... It's waking up slowly but surely. So I'm hoping as the videos go along, I'll sound more and more awake. Because I try and uh, record bulk record videos. So I try and get them done in the first two days of the week. And then it gives me the rest of the week to do other stuff. So... I think that's what most uh, popular YouTubers do. Right, here's our lineup for the first game of the episode. We've got Dewurst in goal. We've got Rui as right back, Suter and the Welsh in defence. Diara on the left. Rios and Hackney in midfield. Bowler on the right, Maldini in the middle. Dorigo on the left and Stewart up front. I'm going to put Deli Ali in for Maldini in this game. Uh, there you go. Let's see if Ali can reproduce some of that magic. He's doing well this year, actually, to be honest. Eight goals in 14 games, one assist. So he's definitely probably having his best season with us so far. Right. Let's see how we get on. Let's start, hopefully we can start this episode on a good on a good note. I don't want it to be one of these episodes where we lose every game. It's just depressing. It's entertaining for you, but not for me. But yeah, we are neck and neck with St Mirren. We've got one game ahead of them though. And uh, we could catch up with Hearts. Because we've got two games ahead of Hearts. We've got no chance in catching up Rangers. That's what, they've only played 21 games. But if we get third place, I'll be very happy. I think I got third place with Kilmarnock, actually, in my other last uh the season, second season in charge. It was either third or fourth. I did better than I did the first season there. So that's good. A long way to go before you can catch up with Rangers and Celtic. You've got to really, really have like be on the top of your game with your team. Uh, and you've got to get points against Rangers and Celtic to catch up with them on the league, otherwise you've got no chance. Oh, what a ball. Go on, Stuart. Oh, come on. She's done better with that. Boland doesn't tend to have a bad game, so I'm hoping he can produce some magic in a minute. Rui, that was not good defending there. It was not good at all. Get the ball off him. That's it. There we go. Go on, Dorigo. That's it. Keep going. Keep going. What a cross. Yes, get in. Ross Stewart. Good old reliable Ross Stewart. How many goals has he got for us this season? He's kept holding out the team anyway. Let's have a look. 12 goals. 13 goals now in 21 games. That's good. With that, if we win, if we win this game, I think we might get. Uh, we'll we'll be fourth anyway. Might even get third place. Oh, oh here we go. Famous last words. Oh, that was lucky. Go on, Rui. 
Don't you lose that ball. If you lose that ball, you're coming. Oh my god, you're, you, you are getting a telling off, my friend. Focus. I tend to use focus more now as a shout instead of. Oh! Oh, I thought that was going to happen then. Go on, bowler. I use uh, focus instead of like demanding more or tell or berating. Berating never seems to work. They just seem to sulk even more then play worse. Right, good, 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 good. Come on then. Right, I think it's time to make some substitution. Rui, you've not improved since since I told you to focus, so you can come off. Bowler, you've had a rare bad game, so you can come off. Garrigo, you're not playing well, so you can come off. Uh, I think we'll leave that as that for now. Right, go on, Obafemi. Oh, Delhi, what are you doing to me, mate? Right, we'll tell him. Focus. Right, Diara, you're knackered. Long Lelo can come on, and then Rios, you can come off. Right, we've used all our subs now, so Delhi, you're staying on, even if you bloody are playing rubbish. I think it's going to end one one bollocks of it. Still going to stay fifth, unfortunately. Oh, could have been worse. We could have lost. Yeah, fifth. Neck and neck on points. But we've still got a game in hand over St. Miriam. So we could get fourth place. Right, Motherwell next. We have got the end of the we have got the end of the January transfer window coming up though. Campbell post uh Campbell was taken a bit over oh, okay. Mm, him would be the best one. Hopefully that'll help Dorigo. He can speak the language better. Because he's not he's not been playing well lately, so I'm hoping that'll help him um, communicate better with his teammates and become a better player for it. Contribute more to the team, hopefully. Fingers crossed, you never know. But yeah, this is gonna take a while because she says here like we got the whole January, end of January transfer window deadline day. That's probably why this is taking ages. Right, take part, let's see what happens, you never know. Quiet so far. I forgot, I just forgot I bloody signed Paul Popper, didn't I? And then he got injured for four months, that was hilarious. He would be a good signing, but I, just, I don't think it'd be realistic to sign him. Plus I've got Hoyland and Stewart, I don't think he'd get much game time. I've got Nisbet as well, but he's, he's never played a game for us since we signed him. So it was a waste of a signing, wasn't he? Got enough for him. Babbage is doing well. I need to praise his loan spell.
Rui continues to do well in training, but he's not doing necessarily well in matches lately, is he? Seems to be making mistakes a lot. Overall though, he's doing he's having a great season, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna criticize him. I'll just leave it for now. Yeah, rightly so. Boulder does deserve some praise. Didn't play well last game, but overall he's been playing really well. Very quiet transfer win, uh, deadline day for us so far. I'd assume the DOF would have gone for somebody by now. Burke's off again. Leighton Orient has signed him. How did he do at Sheffield Wednesday in the end? Well, he did quite well, actually. Fair play to him. Still got a bit in the tank. Uh, while she's off. Be sorry to see him go. Let's see if we can find a similar player to him. Uh, I think we can do slightly better. Knock that down a little bit. Uh, we need to add fitness. Currently in no. No. Uh, I need to do it by that. We can only afford so much. Leo Silver maybe. 26 years old. We we'll probably have issues with work permit though with him. To do with somebody like this man here. Apparently emergency backup, so they don't rate him very much here. Who's he? Defender. So the DOS decided to, we need defenders. So that's good. That gives me confidence that the DOF knows when we need reinforcements. I just hope that the work permit issue is sorted in time. But at least we've got him as backup in case we get really stuck. Let's have a look, see. Now he's only two stars. Pointless signing. Chalk that up to uh, me being in a rush because of the deadline day. I'd have normally scouted him. There you go. We've got a better one though in Juanines. Juan Juanines. Can I just call him Yuan? I'll just call him. U no, is it? How do you pronounce it? Juan, isn't it? Juan. We'll just call him Juan. Two caps for Peruvia. So that's good. Uh, international defender in our team now. Have we got any more time to sign anybody else? Is the DOF going to sign anybody else? Have we even got anything left in our budget? Actually, we have actually. We're doing alright. I do. If I up that, it might encourage the DOF to go for somebody else. Let's see if we can sign Thomas Muller. Right, no. That's a shame. Oh well. Is Benzema still alive? Is Benzema still playing? Can we sign Benzema? Probably wouldn't be realistic, would he? Oh, he's retired. Ah, oh, that's a shame. Uh, we've had a loan off of the Dorigo. Why? No. Especially as it was like such a poor bloody offer. No. Um, I don't like these unrealistic loan offers at opposition. Uh, yeah, when they're not. 
one of our players and one of our key players and they want him on loan for literally nothing. Sod off. Not running a charity here. Right, we're coming up to the end of the deadline day now, so I can't imagine there's going to be anything crazy happening now. I think that's it. it now there we go deadline day done right we've got motherwell next a must win game for us to keep our chances of getting european places Getting some good youngsters coming through uh, the Youth Academy here now at Rafe Rovers. Oh yeah, I remember last episode Alistair Stevenson got nicked from us, which is annoying. So we had to get a new DO, a uh, new head of youth recruitment. Fabian Anger, what a name. What a name. Oh balls they've signed. Oh, I suppose he's just as good. I was getting worried then. Right, Motherwell. Let's see how we get on here. So, Juarez um, makes his debut. And that's it really, pretty much. I'll leave Deli Ali for this game because he didn't exactly play well last game, but there we go. So Quarinez is making his debut. Pretty much the rest of the team is the same. Hoyland's playing up front. Stewart's on the left though. Hopefully Hoyland can make an impact. Because he's not been doing well lately. He might he might end up getting sold at some point at this rate if he doesn't carry on. He's only got four goals for the season. Played 13 games, he's got no excuses. I know he's only played 13 games, but he should be getting more than four goals. We're just letting him just glide past us there. Luckily, nothing come of it. Alright, free kick to us. Bowler over the top. Maldini now. What can he do? Passes it to Rui. Rui skips past the defenders, loses the ball, gets fouled though. I just thought he lost possession, but hopefully we have a penalty out of this. No, no penalty. Oh well. Right, let's see how we get on. Coronel, 6.7 rating so far, so he's doing alright. Rios is injured, Alan Campbell will have to come in. I was unsuccessful in getting rid of Alan Campbell during the January window, so he'll be here until the summer. We're going to have to make another substitute. Palacios has come on for, not Stuart, uh, oh, I can't remember, whoever was on the right. There we go, Maldini scores. Get in. Palacios with the assist as well, so he's made, made an instant impact. Who come off? That's annoying timing, isn't it? Uh, Bowler, yeah. It's a shame Bowler being injured. Such a key player for us. Hopefully Palacios will make the most of his chances. Right, Campbell with the ball. Let's demand a little bit more. Let's try and kill this game off. 
Hornes calmly keeps the ball in possession, passes it to Diara. Hackney back to Diara. To Quarrenes, we just seem to be passing in between the three of them here. There you go, Campbell. That's it. We know how to do a we actually know how to do a forward pass, so that makes a nice change. Oh. Is this gonna actually happen this time? Oh here we go. This you know what usually happens here when this happens. I don't know why he's gotta go all the way to look at the screen. Come on, ref, we know what's gonna happen. Yeah, we need that. Right, let's go. Ross Stewart, when he score. Yes, get in. Extends our lead, 2-0. 14th goal of the season for Stewart as well. Right, praise the players. There isn't that much pressure on us now, we'll just... We won't substitute anyone unless they get a bit tired. Actually, we've got a lot of tired players. So... Uh, Deadly Ali will have to do that, and then Lewis Vaughan with a rare appearance. Um, we need to put Deli Ali in a more familiar midfield role. Right, do we need to take it? We can't take anybody else off, so that's that. Here we go, Palacios with the ball now. Let's see if we can counter attack from this uh, corner they just had. Palacios gallops past him. Go on, Hoyland. Yes, get in. Thank you very much. Palacios with another assist. Nice to see Hoyland score as well. Right, that should be the end of that then. We're now fourth. Two points behind Rangers. They have got a hell of a lot of games ahead of us, though. So we can't get too excited. We've got three games ahead of us. Um, we've got two games ahead of Hearts, though. So we could potentially, if Rangers just don't do very well in the games they've got ahead of us, we could end up, like, second. Um, I think, realistically, we, we, we can say that we can get at least fourth place is better than the last season so yeah anyway as well Rios is out for three weeks so Josh Boulder's out for five to ten days all right when's the next game three days okay uh in good for the best option all right as quickly as possible. That was his name. Washington Corozo's back, so that's good. So hopefully he can slot in into the position that Boulder left there. So we've got this player here coming in in the summer on loan. We need to win this game because we get a lot of money doing well in the Scottish Cup. Right then, let's see what our lineup is. Delhi's here. That's what we like to see. Uh, Carozo's back. Dorigo's on the left. Holland's up front. Petrovic is making his debut alongside Campbell. Ayono's in there for Rue. We've got Todowski in defence as well. With Coroners, Longelo's come back. So let's see how we get on. A bit of a rotate team by the looks of it. I think the assistant managers, the assistant managers basically rotated the team on purpose. Uh, but let's see how we get on. Right, they've already got a corner. Nicely saved by our goalie, Dewhurst. Let's 
Let's break from this now. No, that was a terrible goal kicker. Oh, great. We've given them a penalty. Oh. There's no VAR in the Scottish Cup either, is there? Yes, get in. Good save, do worst. Praise him for that. Right, we've got a corner, a Yono. Over the top. Oh, what a header by Carozo then. Beautiful little setup by Hoyland there to header it up to him. Carozo making an impact back in the team now. Nice to see Hoyland's in a bit of form. Right, let's see if we can extend this lead before half time. Good. Good there, good by Campbell. Oh, what a ball by Delhi. Go on, Hoyland. Yes, get in. Great little link up between Delhi Alley and Hoyland. The best partnership in the Scottish Premiership, in my opinion. Let me just pray. I oh, know I can't. Well, let me praise him. Morton, Green at Morton with a bit of possession at the moment. Ah, that that's not good. Is he any good? Let's scout him. Probably not. I'm going to scout the goal scorer as well. He looks like this would be a terrific signing for the future. I want to try and sign. Um, realistically try and sign some Scottish wonder kids or something from the teams that aren't Celtic and Rangers so we'll try and be like the best of the rest from the big two and we'll try and build for the future with Scottish players moving forward obviously I'll, all, I'll still sign some of these South American players and some of these big time players like Delhi Alley just to help the board expectations but yeah, realistically, I want to try and build for the future because, like I said, this is a save. I'm not going to be stop playing. Um, I'm committed to this save and I'm going to keep playing it until FM25, I think. Right, Dorigo's not... I don't know, it's only half time. We'll give him a chance to breathe. Uh, let's try... Demand more. Probably won't work. Never usually does. Everybody else is playing well. See, just has the opposite effect on him. Uh, Ross Stewart can come on then. Petrovic, you're knackered. So... Let's get him taken. Come on. Campbell's tired, so Suter can come on for him. Right, we've got a corner. Been a bit of a quiet second half, this one. Over by Carozo. Uh, Carozo's tired. Oh, we can't, we can't take any more players on. So we'll just hope that we keep this lead. Couple of minutes to go. Good result. Hopefully we're playing against uh, a rubbish team in the next round so we can get more money.
Yeah, eight point nine. This is why I love this this save. <laughs> you just get loads of money. So funny. There you go. Boosted our income. Can we do anything with that though? No. Like I said, like I said to you before, um, if we look at club info facilities, we've maxed out everything when it comes to obviously we could do upgrading the corporate facilities, but state of the art training facility, great youth we'll probably be able to improve the youth facilities at some point though when they let us. We're due to move in a couple of years' time next year, uh, into a new eighteen thousand stadium, so then we can expand that eventually. Exceptional in youth recruitment and academy coaching as well. So yeah, we are doing very well at the moment when it comes to stuff like that. We got a new record for gate receipts. Uh, right then, I'm going to call it a day for this episode. I didn't realise what time it was. Um, I'll be back tomorrow with the next episode and we're playing Celtic next, so that'll be a good game. Um, thank you as always, and if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe, it's much appreciated, but yeah, I'll be back tomorrow, all the best, bye.